Oh, I'm right, yeah. I'm in Bath, outside the Bath Stadium. I'm joined with Connor Hall. Now, it's been a while since I spoke to you, Connor. It's been like two, two and a half years now. How have you found it on your return to the club? Yeah, it's been uh, it's a pleasant surprise that uh, the club um, made, a, made a phone call and uh, I was able to make this move possible again. Um, and yeah, I've loved every minute of being at this club. I uh, loved it last time and uh, really thankful to be here again. How much has it changed since you've, you know, since you've last been here? Of course, I, I can only imagine it's changed in a positive way. Um, I don't really think it's changed too much. Um, obviously, the staff, the, uh, the playing side of things, I think it's changed. And players, but in terms of uh, being around the place and the staff, uh, it's not really changed too much. And it was a positive place when I left, and uh, it's a really positive place at the minute uh, as we build for the start of the season. And of course, expectations are high with you know transfer window we've had. How how are the group managing that? Yeah, look, we you can't just sign players and win the league. Uh, it's not as easy as that. If it was, everyone would do it. Um, you got to play well. You got to uh, work on on patterns, work on a, a training pitch, and put the effort in. And uh, that's what we got to do at the moment. Obviously, difficult one today, um, but we we go back to the training pitch and um, a few weeks yet till the start of the season, so we've got to get it right. Just to cover this game, you know, is it a case of just getting minutes into the legs, or is it is there a slight disappointment, you know, that we could have managed to win or? Uh, it's a group not too bad, but as long as you know there's individual good sports, we've been getting minutes into legs. No, there's always uh, always disappointment when we play games and lose games. Um, we don't want to be losing games this season, and we don't want to be losing too many of them. Um, so you've got to start pre season, you've got to take the run into the, into the season and win games um, and play well. So uh, that's, what, that's what we're going to look to do. Um, we've got three games left, and um, we've got to find, find a way uh, find a way of playing. Uh, be really positive with that and, and hope we get the wins. Now, a question I'm going to be asking everyone, obviously with the new away kit coming out, there's been a lot of controversy. I personally really like the kit. I've seen a lot of people negative about it. What are your thoughts on the kit? Uh, yeah, it's really bright. Um, nah, it's, that. it's, it's a bit different, but I don't mind it. It's, yeah, it's, it's all right. Uh, it's, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's good for my kids because if it gets dirty, then, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be the kit we get promoted. I guess hope so. That's what we're going for, right? Yeah. I'm in top one, mate, right. as always. I'm here, I'm with Darren Moore. Darren, pre-season's just kicked off. How are you feeling? No, I feel really good. Um, today, obviously, after the game against Bath, um, the players are where we thought they'd be. You know, we're working them really physically at the moment. So they've been really overloaded with the training. But, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, but um, no, they are where they are. And, and we just got to keep working. Um, two split groups today. So in terms of the match minutes and the physicality on them, uh, it's where we need to be, really. So we'll continue to work and we'll get another four weeks' work down here in Wales and then um, we'll build for the weekend. Of course, not the result we would have wanted, but again, pre season, as much as you want to win every game, as long as players are hitting what you'd expect them to hit and getting minutes into their legs, I'm sure that's all you'd want. Yeah, what we're just doing is physically overloading them. So when you look at the training sessions that we do, the type of training session that we do, would we do that on the eve of this game? No, we wouldn't, mm -hmm. but it's detailed really to, to, uh, give the players that, uh, overload, um, and sort of stress them, if you like, in yeah. terms of the physical, what's expected of them. And they've come here today and played against a well, uh, organized and a well drilled, uh, Bath City. Um, I think Gilly's done a great job with them here and, and the onus looks good for them for a solid season. And it was a type of workout that we needed. Lots of concentration for the goal. Um, but as I said, um, in terms of the game and what we needed, is exactly what we needed now and uh, they'll benefit from it. And I know you're not going to want to give uh, too much away on this subject, but where are we in terms of our, our transfer window? Are we nearly done? Are we completed now or is there one or two that you're looking at? Because I'm not expecting names, by the way. No, I think what we are, we're really happy with the work that we've done. The, the, the bit was we wanted to get them in as quickly as possible. Now yeah. that they're in, yeah. it's about working now and then getting used to each other um, and building a real rapport with each other. That's really, really key. The week that we've got here down here now with Wales with no more games allows us to go on the training ground and we can work uh, specifically, really. So, yeah, we're really pleased that they're in. We're pleased that what we've got and the business that we've done so far and we, we believe that uh, the players that we brought in will be a benefit for us for the season ahead. There's two signings I really want to, you know, focus on in particular. Connor Hall and George Byers. Of course, Connor Hall, we've got history with um, a brilliant centre-back for us the year we got promoted. Where where did the sort of attraction come from you? Was it the history you had with the club or was it something completely different? 
Yeah, no, and 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 needing a player on that left hand side, um, and his leadership quality and the skills that he brings, that's where, um, our attraction for uh, in terms of bringing Connor back to the football club, that's where it was. So, um, I thought it was immediate when we heard of his availability. I think it was um, essential that we um we try and see if we could bring him and attract him back to the club, and we're pleased that he accepted and. We've got him back at the club. And congratulations on the signing of George Bayer, by the way. So it's tough to come, it's tough to leave by storm. It's a great signing. First of all, how have you managed to do it? I know you've obviously got, you've clearly got a great relationship, uh, from your time at Sheffield Wednesday, but it's a cracking signing and it's one that's definitely got the fans excited. So, you know, what was the process of getting into the club? No, uh, we just want to uh, keep the club moving forward. I, I just believe in terms of George, the player that he is. I think he'll, he'll be um, another crucial call to what we're trying to do this season. We're really pleased to have him on board. Obviously, you can imagine the, the competition that was there for George. I'm just really pleased that we've sort of uh, re-established uh, a working relationship together and, and we've got some work to do. So we're pleased to have him back at the club and now it's about building his fitness and getting him to a stage where he can be most effective for Porto. Darren, top on me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm here. I'm with Jaden Stockley. Jaden, you know, you just come in, new signing for Vale. First, what what do you feel that you are, will add to the club? Um, I think, well, first and foremost, it's a real honour to be at this football club. Happy to be at the uh, seeing the you know the fan base and the um, interaction that the fans have had with the club since I've been here, and it's a uh, it's a privilege to be here. I'm thankful to the for Carol to for, for bringing me in, um, and obviously the gaffer and everyone else. So yeah. Nice to be here, but I'll add a lot of experience, goals as well as obviously my job yeah. and a real determination to get more available back where they belong. Is that the main goal of the club? Of course, we've gone all out and we're trying to market both you and along with a very um, select <laughs> handful of signings that are very good, especially to compete at this level. Is that the main ambition to go in Storm Street back up? Yeah, I think at first we've got to gel as a team, we've got to get to know each other, we've got to get on board, we've got to... I dig deep in, in pre-season, do the hard yards. The first few weeks of pre-season has been really tough. We've had a lot of games and uh, I think that's good. You know, no one wants to continuously train. So the games have allowed us a lot of fitness work to be in. But, you know, the squad needs to gel together quickly and uh, be ready for that sort of game, first game of the season and, and quickly get some momentum going into the season. What was, of course, you know, the attraction of the club? Naturally, with Darren is a big thing. But for you, what was the main reason that you wanted to come to Port Vale? Uh, I think the fan base, to be honest. I think the, the size of the club and uh, the, the project for this season, what their, their hopes going into this season, and not just the season coming, but the next few years. I fully wanted to be a part of it once I heard what was going on. And that was my determination to come here. And uh, But you know, I feel... I'm coming at a stage of my career where I'm really gonna, you know, impact and, and get more goals. And um, and I'm healthy. I'm I've been fit. I'm sparring back end last season, so I feel like I'm coming into the season with a lot of hope. That is the right answer. I'm tired. Yeah. That is the right answer. Yeah. Of my and of course, it's a controversial uh, with the away kit, like a controversy. I personally really like it. Yeah. Um. Of course, there's a there's been a few um bit of hatred towards it online and and whatnot. And if you can you can speak the truth. Yeah. What do you think of it? Listen, not everyone's gonna like it. Not everyone can pull off a colour like that. You know, real yellow hair. It's gonna look a bit. Of, but I, I like it. I like the sharpness. I'm, I'm an luminous colour fan, and so, not many people are gonna miss us this season when we're wearing that. So <laughs> for the night game, it might. You know, there's there's no uh, there's no there's think? no excuse for a misplaced pass in that kit. Um, not to put any pressure on you, but this is the kit that we're gonna be going off winning the league. I think it's the first time in our history that we well. If we do win the league, it'll be the first time in our history. Listen, we'll be going into the season. We're going to do our best, really. We've got expectations on us this season, and we'll see if we thrive off that. Uh, the expectation is for this promotion. Uh, the gap is, you know, put that task on us, and uh, it's up to us as players now to respond. Jim, top man, Top mate. man, thank Appreciate you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Go on. Right, I'm outside bath. I'm joined with... I'm not going to say his name because that's our first question. Well, how do we pronounce your name? Well, I would say Rory Patton, but I think it comes off, you know, in English tongue better Rory Payton. So whatever people like, that's that's pretty much a so, summary of the it's name. Up, it's up to anybody who what they decide, what they want to call you. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. I say Patton. Some people say Payton. I would say Rory. They say Rory. So. 
It's a bit stupid, but look, <laughs> stupid name. Look, look, we'll go with Rory. <laughs> we'll go with Rory Painton for this one. So I'm joined with Rory Painton. And Rory, you know, coming from Queen's Park, what's it like? Is it a step up? Is it a step up first thing? Is it a step up and what's it like coming to Vale? Yeah, yeah, of course it's a step up. I mean, that's what I came for. I came for, you know, a better challenge and, you know, kind of test myself at a higher level. It's been definitely in terms of the, the way the club is, the way it's ran, the facilities, the stuff, the coaching and all that, of course it is. But, uh, you know, hopefully I can fit into that yeah. and, you know, slide into the team and take my game to another level again. You say about your game, what do you add to this Vale team? What, what, what's your main sort of trait? Uh, hopefully goals. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, hopefully a team player, someone who can pass the ball to mm-hmm. people, uh, you know, and you know, work hard and then, you know, kind of get in between pockets and try to give people the ball and link the game. That's what I would probably say, you know, hopefully and then give us a bit of bite, you know, hopefully a bit of energy. What was the main attraction to the club then? What, what, what made you choose Port Vale? Well, the gaffer I'm also first, I think with the, the chat I had with him, as mm-hmm. soon as I had a chat with him, I thought, right, this is, this Seriously. would do, yeah, I'd say, look, this will probably, you know, that would do for me. He sold it well. You know, obviously yeah. he speaks very well. So, yeah, that. And then obviously, you know, you look open, you kind of look into it, the league, you look at the players, you look at what the team are kind of at, where they're going. I think that's what it was, you know, that was kind of my main attraction. I thought, right, I can, you know, I can fit in there. I can see myself there, you know. So this is our sixth pre-season game, I believe now. And I believe it's your first, maybe your second pre-season game. First, 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 first yeah, pre-season. First. First of all, how have you gelled with the with, with the group in second of all? Of course, not not the result we have wanted, losing one 0 But are you happy with where you are in terms of your progress? Yeah, uh, yeah. The book, the group have been brilliant, actually. Uh, you know, it warmed warmed to me a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it would maybe take a couple of weeks to get to know someone, but yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not too shy. So uh, yeah, fit, yeah, fit it in, fit fit in well. The boys have been brilliant, so that, that's that's kind of half the battle, you know. Obviously, I said the last few about the people. And yeah, you know, I think, I think it's going all right. You know, it's, it's baby steps. Obviously these games, it's, it's not the result you want, but mm-hmm. you know, people realize obviously these games are for a purpose. Yeah. They're here, yeah. they're here to get people minutes. They're here to get people playing. You know, we've got to not lose, lose signings. So hopefully they can gel. And if they can gel, you know, you can bring it into the season because that's where, you know, the results and stuff really matter. Rory, a question I've asked, you know, everybody that I've interviewed today. Of course, there's been a bit of a controversy with the kit, the away kit in particular. Um, I personally really like it. There have been a lot of people who have said they don't, and there's been quite a few strong comments made about it. Actually, <laughs> I want to know your thoughts on the kit. You can't, you can speak your own mind, by the way. It's bright. Yeah, it's a bit out there. Yeah, that's what I would say. That was, that's how I put it. Bright and out there. That's my answer. Where are we going on the spectrum of one to ten? One you hate it, ten you love it. I give it a seven. It's my lucky number. Can't pick seven though. Can't pick seven. I always say it when someone says seven. Can't pick seven. Right, I'll give it an eight. So he likes it more than he dislikes it. Rory, top man, mate.